So now in this video we're going to make a bright light alarm using a light dependent resistor and this time it's going to be a PNP bipolar junction transistor. Last video was an NPN bipolar junction transistor. We're using the 2N3906 in this video, PNP. Last video we used the 2N3904. So they have the same gain in everything. They're complementary transistors. The uh, difference is uh, polarity. This is PNP versus NPN. So you're going to notice everything is just wired to opposite sides of the power supply. Now we have an LED in place of the active buzzer right now because the buzzer is really annoying but you can see when I get bright light close enough to the light dependent resistor the LED is turned on by the transistor. So we're going to swap the LED. For the LED we need a protective resistor. The buzzer we don't need that. We just can attach it. I think its limit is 5 volts or so. We saw in the last video it would work with uh, 3 volts even in this circuit. But in uh, any case, we're going to uh, swap it and we know the light's not bright enough right now to make it buzz because it didn't turn the LED on. And we're going to show that uh, I'm going to actually cover the buzzer right now and because it's so loud, but there you could hear it buzz because of the light falling on it. So let's look at the circuit in uh, up closer. So we have the uh, buzzer here, we have the PNP bipolar junction transistor. So it has the same pin layout, 2N3906, as the 2N3904 that we looked in the last video, but I always look at the data sheet for the particular transistor you're using. We're looking at the flat side. So left is emitter, middle is base, and right is collector. So we'll scoot over here. So to get the emitter to the top, like it is on the schematic, we just turn it flat side to the left, opposite direction we did with the NPN. In the middle pin's base and the uh, right pin, bottom pin right now, is the collector. We can just pop it right in there and you can see that we have the 220 ohm resistor coming to the base. And then the active buzzer right there, we got the plus up there. You can tell it's active because it's filled in on the inside there with the epoxy. And uh, we're going to the negative side of the power supply right there from the collector. Now we have uh, the 220 ohm resistor right there to limit current because the light dependent resistor now is on the low side. We have a fairly low value 220 ohm resistor just like with the NPN up here because we need to hold very close to the positive supply voltage to keep the uh, 2N3906 PNP bipolar junction transistor off. We need about 5 volts on uh, both sides there. Once it gets about 0.6 volts lower, so 4.4 volts, and you do that by shining light on the light dependent resistor. It gives lower resistance to ground, pulls the voltage down, and then current flows from emitter to base there uh, to ground. A little bit of current flowing that way, once you break that about 0.6 volts, allows many times the current to uh, flow through emitter to collector, and then the buzzer, which is in series with it. We only need, I think it's like 25 milliamps of current or something like that uh, for the buzzer as we saw in uh, recent videos. So in any case that's it to the circuit not too complex so we're going to keep the video simple. The PMP bipolar junction transistor works just like the NPN only uh, polarities are opposite so you just have to be aware of that. If you can make the NPN circuit it's really easy to make the PMP as long as you're aware polarities are opposite. So. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the link down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.